update here, courtesy of Hype Never Dies, regarding Travis Scott, Jordan Freeze. This is interesting because there was news recently, I remember reading, about a supposed leak that said the next Travis Scott, um, the next Travis Scott shoes from Nike are going to be SBs. And then the first thing I see leaked after the fact are these Jordan 3s. Now, I don't want to make too many, too many um, conclusions here or correlations. But considering that we've already got a Jordan 4 SB that's doing absolute numbers, that Jordan 3 um, white sail and pine Jordan 4 is fucking beautiful. It probably has the best shape of any Jordan 4 because if I'm not mistaken, I remember somebody saying one of the edits that they made on the overall shoe was that they made the front of it a little bit more rounded and a little bit more flat to the surface, if you get what I mean. Um, a lot of Nike shoes, if you wear them, especially retros, they have this really weird banana boat type style you know bend at the front but this jordan 4 in particular the sb version they've they've kind of updated it to kind of be a little bit more flat on the outsole and the profile is really kind of square and just it, it looks amazing so it makes me think if that's the case and they're you know trying to in you know um kind of slowly but surely in ingrain a bit of jordans into sbs because obviously the Jordan brand, if you know anything about 80s skateboarding, 90s skateboarding, a lot of skaters back in the day would wear Jordan 1s, Jordan 4s and stuff to skate, especially back in the Zoo York days. You can, I think you could, I'm sure you can see their Zoo York videos that feature people wearing Jordan 4s um, as a flipping skate shoe. It wouldn't be surprising if they start going down the whole entire line and start you know, making skateboard versions of a Jordan 1, Jordan 2, Jordan 3. Jordan 4, Jordan 5, Jordan 6s, even 7s. I can see that happening because those are all shoes that kind of came out around the time, you know, 90s, early 2000s skateboarding was really kind of popping off. And I wouldn't be too mad at it because one thing that I've always said about Jordan 3, which I always thought when you're wearing them, they're very bulky looking, but they also remind me of what a, you'd consider like an Osiris or a D3 skate shoe to look like. They're very boxy. Um, they have a very substantial feel to them. They're kind of very flat and broad and they would kind of work really well if they kind of update them to be skate specific. Maybe with a bit more of a gummy, stickier sole, maybe changing some of the bits on the top to make sure that it's a bit more resistant to kind of getting rubbed on with grip tape and shit. Maybe padding out the tongue a little bit or maybe unpadding it because it's already quite thick. I think, if I'm not mistaken, Jordan Freeze already come with elastic on the side of the tongue so you can wear them without laces and it can kind of make sure the tongue doesn't move around too much that would be great but this edit of the jordan freeze absolutely amazing because one thing about jordan freeze they don't have any kind of um there's not any sort of recognizable swoosh on them um except for the heel tab this kind of a clean design which i've always liked about jordan freeze so these look really cool because what travis scott has done with these kind of traditional sort of like you know design ethos is that he's applied the backward swoosh onto the jordan free so you don't usually get swooshes on the Jordan 3, but you got a backward swoosh on this. And it's the same sort of like color, sort of, you know, the color template they usually kind of adopts with the browns and stuff, but it's mostly white. You've got white here. You've got the, some cement. You've got what looks like might be a brown or black midsole. And you've got a big, massive black or brown, which I think is mostly brown swoosh that's been reversed um, up there on the upper. So I think that's going to be look amazing. I'm really, really Really hoping that's an SB because the shape is going to be updated. Even if it's not an to SB, I'll still get them just because of the novelty. The novelty of these is going to be enough for me to purchase them because it's a Jordan 3 with a swoosh on the side. And you rarely, if ever, get something like this um, out there on the market. So I'm really, really curious to see how this kind of um, develops over time. But so far, no extra details on it or when it's meant to be coming out. But that's the first indication that we have that we might be receiving a Jordan 3 SB courtesy of Travis Scott.